For purposes of carburetor synchronization, uh, permanently installing these Motion Pro vacuum adapters is really helpful. Uh, there are three adapters that uh, are required to be added uh, for number one, number three, and four carburetors. The second carburetor, which is the reference carb, already has its own. The threads on the adapters are five millimeters with a pitch of 0.8 millimeters, uh, but I'll put a part number in the description. Another thing that I've added are these little spring clips to make sure that the rubber caps stay where they belong. As far as the uh, gauges are concerned, vacuum gauges like this are just fine. If you're looking to purchase a set, just make sure that uh, the gauges include adjustment screws like you see here. And the reason those are important is because before you synchronize your carburetors, you wanna make sure that uh, the gauges are synchronized with one another. And the way you do that is uh, pick a carburetor, for example, carburetor number one, which is really easy to access, and then sequentially connect the gauges to that carb when the motorcycle is running one by one, and then adjust the screws so that all the gauges are reading exactly the same. And at that point, you're ready to perform your synchronization procedure. Um, as far as the accuracy of the carb sync, if all the gauges are reading uh, within one division, um, I consider uh, that to be good enough. If you're looking for even more precision, you may want to consider an electronic gauge. Unfortunately, uh, electronic gauges with four inputs are extremely expensive. Uh, this Twin Max that I purchased a number of years back only has two inputs, and it's great for synchronizing carburetors on a motorcycle that has two carbs. Uh, it can be used on a bank of four, but you have to keep in mind that as opposed to these vacuum gauges that are actually showing you vacuum in each carb, the Twin Max doesn't show you the level of vacuum. What it shows is that if the needle, as, as you can see here, is at zero, then the vacuum levels between two carburetors are exactly the same. And uh, that presents a little bit of a problem uh, as far as the Nighthawk is concerned, because on the Nighthawk, carburetors number one and two have a balance due between them and carburetors uh, number three and four have a balance tube between them. And so what this means is, let's say that you have hooked up the twin max so that uh, input A is at the reference carb number two, and input B is hooked up to the third carburetor, and then you adjust the vacuum level in the third carburetor to match the vacuum level of the reference carb number two, and then you reposition this input to connect to carburetor number four and adjust the vacuum uh, at carburetor number four. The problem with that is because of the balance to between carb four and three, when you adjust carburetor four, the vacuum that carburetor three sees also changes, but since the Twin Max is not hooked up to three at that point, you won't know that. So you're gonna have to go back and forth uh, between the carbs just to make sure that everything is actually in sync as opposed to the four vacuum gauges that are telling you at a glance what's happening in every carburetor. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention quickly is the notion of the reference carb, which in the Nighthawk is carburetor number two. And it's true that there is no way to directly adjust the vacuum in that particular carburetor. However, because of the balance two between one and two, when you're adjusting the vacuum level in one, the vacuum level at carburetor number two will also change. Uh, it's not a direct adjustment, but just uh, keep that in mind. I also wanted to mention that for the carburetor synchronization to be valid, the mixture screws have to be properly adjusted. And unfortunately in the Nighthawk, adjusting the mixture screws in situ or on the bike is very difficult because of extremely limited access. So what I've done in this particular case is I've adjusted the mixture screws uh, to two and five eighth uh, turns out on the bench when I had the carbs out, which is the 49 state spec, which seems to be a really good setting for this particular machine. And with the mixture screws being s set, as I mentioned, uh, the carburetor synchronization procedure should be accurate.